Hi everybody, it's Lisa. I'm gonna um, re-attempt, uh, I guess, my first shot at the uh, first video that we did. Um, because a lot of you said that you were having trouble seeing what I was doing the last time. So I just wanted to try it again and see if I can get um, some better footage this time. I'm just gonna actually bring this down a little bit, move it. Oh, okay. Now I think you guys should be able to see what I'm doing much clearly now. Um, if not, let me know. I'm like looking at my hands through the screen so I can really try and make sure I get this. Let me see where I'm at. Okay. So, again, um, I do have a video on my channel already that shows how to make a slip knot. So, if you haven't aced that yet, you can go back and watch that video um, and it'll explain it to you. I go over it really slowly. But in order to start any project that works in rows, you're going to need to make a slip knot. So you cross the yarn over like this, hold it, grab down in here, pull up a loop, put the hook into that loop, and then you make a slip knot like that. Now, again, this slip knot does not ever count as a stitch. So in order to chain, um, I think what I should have said in the previous video is that it's equally as important to make sure that you're holding your yarn in a comfortable way. Because if you're trying to like hold it like this and do it, it's going to be, it's going to prove to be a lot more um, difficult. So what I like to do is if the yarn's laying in my hand like this, one, two, and, it, and then you kind of, if you, if you watch, you kind of like, if you pull it. It should slide relatively easily easily um, and you can stop and readjust at any time again it's just one two and then it again it'll it'll pull the way that you need it to so we have our slip knot and um, in the beginning of the last pattern that we worked on which was a single crochet washcloth the instruction geez I can't talk today <laughs> The instructions said to chain 25. So I'm going to show you guys how to chain. So what I do when I start is I kind of hold the end of the, well, the slip knot, I guess, like right here where it's tied with my middle finger and my thumb. And then you get the yarn so that you have some tension. Again, you don't want it to be super loose or anything like that. Um, you're going to take your hook grab the yarn and pull it through just like that that's one chain so i'm going to do it again two three four five now it can also be helpful to move your hand positioning up when you're doing this so um the more chains that you have um or i guess the longer your chain gets you can move your fingers further up so that was five i'm going to do six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And I'm going to stop this video here because I'm making this video for the sole purpose of showing you guys how to chain. Um, so again, you can go back and rewind this if you need to. Um, I'm going to record the next video that shows how to single crochet. I'm going to post that one. I'm also going to post another one that shows you guys how to fasten off and weave your ends in. And then I'm going to post the video on our second washcloth. 